Welcome to another video of SyncBricks. In today's video, I'll be talking about the assignment rule in ERP Next. In ERP Next, uh, the assignment rule is the feature that helps automatically assign certain tasks or activities to specific user or teams based on their predefined conditions. So this feature streamlines the workflow management by ensuring that the right people get the assigned relevant task without manual intervention. So let's consider an example of assignment rule. So first of all, let me go to the assignment rule here. So here is the assignment rule list. Some of the assignment rules I have already created. Uh, I'll just open this in a new tab and I'll show you what I mean by this. So I'll take one example scenario. Uh, for example, I'll go here to support or uh, here we have the module called support module. And in support module, most of the times we might get the tickets or issues which are logged. So these are the issues which someone can create the ticket and it can be raised by a customer at mec.com and the customer can raise any ticket. And if I go into details, so customer might choose the issue type, which would be, for example, any issue will be, it will be technical. It could be any other issue like So any other issue type would be there. There are, for example, I have created these three types and based on the issue types, I want to make sure that the ticket or this issue automatically gets assigned to some. So here, if you see the issue type is issue type here. So let us see, first of all, by creating the assignment rule. So we are creating assignment rule for the issue. I'll go here, create a first assignment rule here. And here I'll click. I'll just show you it again. This is assignment rule. You can search here in the awesome bar assignment rule list. So it will show you all the assignment rules and click here to add the new assignment rule. So I'll add the assignment rule. I'll name it, for example, auto assign issue to concern team member. All right, so document type is issue and due date will be based on, of course, the a resolution date. Of course, resolution date is not fitted right now. So we'll mention here opening date. The day ticket is open, the same day it is due, it has to be immediately resolved. And here prioritize, of course, when you go here to create any task, I'll just show you, we'll create first issue here. This is the test issue here, which I created. When you assign it to someone, you can see here that prioritizing is here, low, medium, high. So we can choose the priority level here. So we'll prioritize here. We'll mention it high. And here, description is auto assignment. You can choose any. So you have been issued. You have been assigned a ticket, assigned an issue. All right, so you can even change it based on whatever subject has been there. So even if there is any uh, subject in this, let me see, this is the subject in issue. So we can use even this as a subject also in the Jinja tag format. So here it will be subject. And it will be automatically assigned and prioritize. I will make it high. And here are the assigned condition. So what should be the condition? If the issue is, I'll mention issue type. If the issue type, issue underscore type is equal to, and I'll mention here, for example, issue type was related to the technical issue. Copy this here, and this is the filter. If the if issue is technical issue, then it has to be assigned to someone. So who is that someone? So we'll mention here the name of that person. For example, this is the person whom it has to be assigned. Okay, so for these five days, the ticket will be assigned. Now, if there are multiple users, for example, you have a team, four or five people in a team, so it will be assigned to any of them if you choose round robin. Otherwise, if you choose load balancing, so whoever has less tickets, so it will be assigned to that person. And then based on the field, if you have a specific field, based on that, you want to assign, maybe it is related to a specific uh, customer name. If some somebody is dealing with some other customer, so it will depend on that. 
but I won't use that. I'll use the round robin for the time being, and only one person is there, so which is fine. And here I'll just save it. If you see this now, this particular rule assignment has been created. Uh, I'll just make sure that the issue type field name is correct because I have chosen here issue underscore type. Uh, I need to make sure that this is the same. So we'll go here to doc type list. Let us see the doc type. So here is doc type list. In doc type list, I choose issue to make sure that uh, the issue there was issue. I need to make sure that the issue type is field name is correct here. So here if I see issue type, so you can see here issue underscore type, but all is small. So I'll copy this and I'll use and in the condition, I'll use this like this. Now this is correct, which means that if the technical issue is chosen, that particular issue will be automatically assigned to this person. Just save it. Now let us create that ticket. So if I go here to ticket, I'll create an issue. I'll create a ticket here, edit in full page, and here I'll create auto ticket or auto assignment. Here, I will not choose any priority level. So you can choose it, of course, medium. And issue type is technical issue. If it is technical issue, we'll choose anything here and save it. So ticket will be automatically assigned. You can see here, it is assigned to this person. Now, if I go back and create any other ticket where I'll not choose the technical issue, this is not a technical issue. Here is issue type. For example, product delivery, here I create it, save it. You can see here that ticket is not assigned to anyone. So this is the way you can use uh, auto assignment rule, which means that assignment will rule will be, assignment rule will be created, of course, and based on the assignment rule, ticket will be automatically assigned, or this can be used not only for the issue, it can be used for anything. In fact. If the document type is, uh, I have chosen issue, it could be even your leave application, can see here leave application. It could be even the employee record itself, or it could be the customer record. The customer in a specific territory is created, for example, and you want it to be assigned to some uh, other person. If the, for example, supplier is created, so you want to assign that supplier to a specific person to feed more details and so on. Or even if there is any help desk, so there is help, uh, employee help desk, which is my custom, uh, doc type and based on that also if any ticket is created so where this ticket will be assigned so if you choose that doc type automatically these due date field will be uh, popped up here so you can choose the relevant date uh, due date field which will be based on this of course these are not mandatory field but it will help you to assign the uh, do the assignment of the ticket or do the assignment of uh, that particular document or record to someone uh, with that due date to ensure that it is closed before that date. So assignment rules, rule is really simple. It is, It will definitely help you to automate the entire process and which is of course helping to various tasks automatically and instead of wasting tons of time, uh, this will help you to automate the flow, automate the process and get most out of it. ERP Next allows you to create uh, customized multiple assignments. In fact, it's not only uh, one assignment that you can make per document. So if I show you here, I created this for the automated leave application assignment. If the leave application was annual leave, so leave type is annual leave, so leave automatically gets assigned to this specific person during these dates. So maybe there is different shifts are there. So based on the shifts or based on the holiday calendar, you can assign it to various people. So you can see here help ticket auto assignment help desk ticket so automatically if any help desk where the it support related request is there so it will be automatically assigned to this person during these working hours so this is how the system works uh, this is how the assignment rule works and this is one of the options of uh, the automation which is part of the erp next so it is not uh, only the ERP, it is an automation tool also which will help you to automate certain tasks. Now, this was one of the aspects. There is a lot to cover more. 
So I'll be covering these in next videos. So see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.